What's up everybody, Ramey here. And if you're watching this video, I'm gonna talk about my recommendations and whether you should buy spin lock or clamp versus fixed um, versus adjustable dumbbells. What kind do I think are best for most people? What are my preferences? And what are the differences between these things? Uh, now, over the last 20 years of, I have been lifting for longer than 20 years, more like 25 years of lifting, I have been able to use all kinds of dumbbells. And just because of what you see that I have here doesn't necessarily mean that that's my preference. So we're gonna kind of talk about it. Um, but I've been able to use, I've used power blocks, I don't know, probably a hundred different times in multiple different gyms or at people's house. Um, I have used, I, I have and have used fixed dumbbells all over the place from the old school, original OG York ones at my first gym that I just love and I'd love to have a set of to these like generic hex dumbbells. Um, I grew up with spin lock dumbbells like this. Um, I actually have a great old, some great old plates, uh, uh, some Lurie plates from 1949 that I just love and are old school. They were my grandfather's and my dad's. Regular like, it, you know, it's similar to spin locks using the clamps on a bar. Uh, I've had them and used those. I've been able to use the, uh, the, the Nuo Bells. I had a chance to use them only one time, but I have used them. Um, the, what are they called? The, uh, the Bowflex. Um, I've used the Bowflex a bunch of times. My brother actually has a set of them and I've, been, I've used them a bunch of times. Um, and those are kind of my experience with dumbbells. So I've used a lot, I've used them all a lot of times. And I'm going to kind of talk about the difference and what I think about them. So let's start out with, I guess like, geez, there's so many features of dumbbells and so many cool things. Let me start out with fixed. So fixed are dumbbells that are just a fixed size. Obviously, fixed dumbbells are the nicest solution in that there's nothing ever to change. You literally just grab the bar off the rack and can use it. It's got a flat back, perfect for putting on your knee when you're gonna do heavy weights, and it literally just goes back in place. It's the quickest, and it's the easiest. It's also very expensive. So, you know, we're paying, these were only about a dollar a pound or less, but nice fixed dumbbells can be significantly more than that, because these are like the most generic ones. Um, so we have price is an issue with fixed dumbbells, but the biggest issue with fixed dumbbells is the space. Now this is a set of 10 to 40 fixed. I got two 45s here, um, adjustable. And then I've got uh, uh, three, five, eight, 10, or three, five, eight, and 12 over on, behind, my, by, by, behind my set over there, little ones that my wife uses and we use for like, you know, like shoulder recovery and stuff like that. The space of these, if they take up significant space, and this is only a set of uh, 10 to 45. If I wanted to do like up to 100, I would need double this room or taking up a lot of height. So space is the concern for fixed dumbbells, which is why a lot of people choose other options. All right, let's talk about the next option. Um, below fixed, which are, which I consider the next, one of the next better options are adjustable. And adjustable dumbbells are like the power blocks. Um, we have power blocks, Bowflex, Nuo Bells, um, any kind of adjustable dumbbell. <sighs> Let's talk about what I like about the adjustable dumbbells. I like that the adjustable dumbbells are quick. They're very quick. They're definitely not as quick as fixed. They're definitely much quicker than spin locks or like Iron Masters um, or Pepins or anything like that. They're definitely quicker than those, but there are some issues with them. So first of all, while you look at them and there's only two, it appears that they don't take up much space. However, depending on what stand you get, I've seen double, I've seen adjustable dumbbell stands that are literally the size of this rack that I have my 10 to, to 45 set on. I've seen adjustable dumbbell stands that are literally this size. Now, clearly you can put them on the ground. They don't take up as much space. And I don't want to argue they take up as much space, but I have seen some stands that are pretty big. Um, 
Adjustable dumbbells clearly don't take up as much space though, and they are much quicker than spin locks. The other advantage of the adjustable dumbbells is their pricing system. In general, like I can get a pair of five to 50 power blocks at Woot or Amazon right now for like 300, 270 to like 305 for a pair. That's, that's huge, huge, huge savings versus, versus buying these at $1 a pound. So you, significant cost savings can happen. You can also find the new Obels on, on sale. Um, now let's talk about the disadvantage of the adjustable dumbbells. The problems with the adjustable dumbbells are twofold. The first one is that they can be a little awkward for certain exercises, um, like the power blocks. I find they're awkward for like triceps. Certain exercises, the power blocks just feel a little awkward with. They also don't look like dumbbells. So they're a little intimidating to like a newcomer, um, even though I've seen them at plenty of gyms, they're just intimidating for it to a newcomer. Um, and they, they just don't really have the same feel as dumbbells. But I do think I, I've gotten used to them and I like them a lot, so I don't have any issues with them. I guess the, the biggest problems with the power blocks no, is that you can't drop them at all. And I do think that's a problem because I feel like with dumbbells, even though I don't drop my dumbbells ever, like I don't purposely drop them, but I've heard tons and tons and tons of stories of like someone dropping it off their leg by accident, falling off a bench by accident when they weren't trying to do anything. Um, I also, like when I'm lifting and it's a heavy weight and I have a heavy weight, like I'll just drop it like two inches down. Like I'll get it down to here and just kind of drop it, even though I don't just like, you know, throw my weights down. Like I do want to drop it a couple inches. It's a lot more comfortable. And I literally cannot do that with power blocks for fear of them breaking. <clears throat> now the power blocks as an adjustable dumbbell will last forever if you don't drop them. <clears throat> um, the Nuo Bells and the Bowflex, I've heard tons of stories about the Bowflex breaking. I've heard tons of stories about the Nuo Bells breaking. Um, they each have some plastic components on them, and it's because it's a spin. Like, there's just more moving pieces. There's more things to break. Um, I personally would not buy them. If I'm going to get adjustable, I would go for the, the power blocks. Um, because I'm not a fan. Now, they do feel like regular dumbbells, but I'm not a fan of having really anything in my gym that's breakable. Like, it's exercise equipment. I want to be able to be a little rough with it and not have to baby it. And when I have dumbbells that I have to baby, that seems problematic, especially I have kids, wife who uses this stuff, and they're not gonna be as gentle with it as I will be knowing that it can't break. Cause they assume it's like gym equipment, I can be rough with this. Um, so there are some problems with those and I don't think you can really repair the Bowflex or Nuo Bells when they do break, like you're kind of out of luck. Um, power, power blocks you can kind of fix. There are workarounds and stuff you can do if, they, if they're causing problems. There's lots of replacement parts. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my big disadvantage for the adjustable. So then we get to the, we get to, <clears throat> there are a couple types. You know, we got like this bar and a clamp for it. We've got like the spin locks right here. You, the, you know, you, you spin the weight on. Um, and then we've got like other systems like the Iron Master and the Pepin, which have like basically a bar that spins in and they're a little quicker and nicer than these. Um, I, got, I grew up with these kind of adjustable dumbbells and they are definitely, if you want to get them cheap, they can easily be the cheapest option for you. Um, you can easily find weights used. I see them all the time. People be almost giving away these one inch size weights. Um, online, you can easily find them for a dollar or less a pound. The other advantage is that they don't take up a lot of space because you ha literally have a handle and then your plates. And you can put your plates somewhere. Now, the disadvantage of these is that A, you're either using a clamp. And the problem with these clamps is they do slide a little bit, but they are nice and they do work. Um, I like the clamps. The clamps are quick. The clamps are actually the quickest option for an adjustable dumbbell like this. Um, the spin lock, you know, take, this isn't a spin lock thing, but they take a little more time. You've got to spin it on. It's sort of a pain. Um, the Iron Master and Pepin both have bars that actually spin in. I'll put some pictures up on the screen of each of those. And those look like much more secure options. But again, with all of these, the, the issue is the time that it takes. 
and there are people who like to do like lots of drop sets and stuff like that so if you're that person like personally i don't do any drops i haven't done a drop set in 20 years probably so i don't use drop sets whatsoever um but there are people that do so having to you know undo the weights every single time is sort of a pain it'd be like doing like a drop set on your barbell like it's like you got to walk around you got to take the weight off it's sort of a pain you'd rather have two barbells which is why for my adjustable dumbbells like this i have these sitting right here and these the easy solution to these spin lock dumbbells and clamps just get multiple bars so you can have like two or three weights all set up the other thing I've done is this, this bar is short, this bar is super long. Um, so that I use this one when I use heavy weights, like about above like 80 pounds or above. Um, I use this bar when I use my smaller weights, like these just have 45s on right now. Um, these spin locks and it just basically stays there. Super easy because of that. Just buy multiple handles. And these handles are super cheap. You can get them for really inexpensive prices if you look around. Uh, for the handles. Now the big disadvantage of using these besides the time loading them is that when you're going to do heavy sets there's this little knob that sticks out right here and when you put it on your leg you can't put that knob on your leg because you need the flat part to rest. What I found is you can actually see I just put like half the weight, the plate. I mean, I, I kind of grew up with these, so I'm so used to doing this that it doesn't even seem like a big deal. I just put half the plate on my leg and it's fine. Um, I see lots of complaints about that, but I guess because I grew up with it and, have, and that's all I knew. I mean, I've been looking at these kind of weights since I was like two years old and could first like walk and go in my dad's gym. Um, that I've just, it, it's something I've always seen and grew up with and it's a habit so I don't even really think about the flat component of them. Um, another thing is when they're really long like this and you're doing like chest press, the ends can hit one another. Um, but again, an easy workaround to that, it's not even a workaround. You literally just like angle it a little bit different like each one, like it's, it's simple to avoid. But I do see that as a complaint people have. But I don't know, I don't see it as a problem because it's super easy to avoid. So those are all the different kinds of dumbbells you can get. So if someone were, let's get to the question. If you, who, who should get what kind? <laughs> That's the big what if, right? Who should buy what kind? Like what kind should you buy? Um, so let me talk about it. So to the person that has money and space, even just the person that has the space, I would 100% tell you to just get fixed. Because even if you don't have the money, you can find fixed used. If you search around Marketplace long enough, you're gonna find used fixed for pretty cheap. Actually, there's someone on my Marketplace right now giving away a free 20 and 30 pound single pound dumbbell right now on Marketplace, just free porch pickup. Like you will find them for cheap. But if you have the money and space, 100% get fixed dumbbells, find a brand you want, honestly, if they're rubber hex like this, they're all made at the same exact place. So just because it says a certain brand on it, trust me, don't pay more for it. If you're gonna pay for fixed dumbbells, get like urethane or something like that that are nice and for some reason cost more money. If they're just rubber like this, you're just, just as well off with the generic. But if you have the money and space, get fixed. Now, the next question. You, you have the money, but don't have the space. I would 100% tell you to probably get the Iron Masters. I'm a huge fan. I love the Iron Masters. I think they're great. I think they're brilliant. Um, they're basically these like spin locks, but they're more secure. They look great. Um, they last forever. You can be rough with them. You can do anything with them. They, they take away the, the end sticking out here that some people don't like. I think you, if you have the money and don't have the space, Iron Masters are my next call. And I have the Pepins as well. Um, I've just never, never been able to see them or play around with them. So, but those will be my next choice. All right. Now, here's the big question. The people that don't really have the money or maybe do, don't have the space, and they're basically debating between spin lock and adjustables like the power blocks. Now, I have an easy answer for this, my, because I think it comes down to your preference. I've watched other people on video and I feel like they always recommend the power blocks. 
I think if you're set on adjustable, I 100% say Power Block over Nuobel, Bowflex or whatever. There's tons of generic brands out there that have those kind of things. I would want, if you're getting adjustable, get the power blocks. However, I much prefer these to power blocks. A hundred times over, I much prefer these. Yes, it's longer. However, it's cheaper. I can use my one inch plates for other things. Like I use them on my Titan pulley sitting right here, my one inch plates. I use on the bag sitting behind me, or you can't really see it in the, the video here, my punching bag. I use my one inch plates to support that bag. One inch plates come in handy. I love these for that reason. Also, these handles are super cheap. If you're concerned about drop sets, buy two or three pairs of these. Problem solved. Um, they don't take up any more space than power blocks at all. They probably take up less space because you don't need a stand for them. Um, they're super cheap. They're easy. People understand them. They, they have the feel of dumbbells. I don't have to worry about like doing stuff and it feeling awkward. Like some people say biceps feel weird with the power blocks. None of that stuff. I can drop them. I can throw it across the street and it's not going to break. Can't do that with any of those adjustable. I personally am not too much of a fan of the adjustable dumbbell for that reason. I would much rather recommend you just get a cheap set of spin blocks and these um, and use them. I do understand the time, it does take longer. So if you're one who's like, I can't deal with the time, I can't deal with the adjustment of these, then go ahead, get, get power blocks. I, I would not recommend the other brands, but like you can even get like clamp ones. And just, it literally takes one second to clamp it on, just the same as a barbell. Now, yes, this clamp, in my experience of using these clamps after years, is that they do move a little bit each set. I gotta like readjust it every single set a bit, um, but they do last, these clamps do last forever. Like I have ones that are definitely like older than me, um, which are still working completely fine after many people and times of use. So I would, I personally like these over the adjustable dumbbells. Okay, so space and money is not a concern, 100% fixed. Um, space a concern, not worried about the money, get like the Iron Masters, you're good. Space a concern, and maybe you don't have the money, I personally would go these. If you're set on the adjustable, go power block. Those are my thoughts on dumbbells, y'all. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Everyone's got their own opinion. Um, but you have to have used them all and really tried them all. And maybe I'm biased towards the spin locks, I admit, because I grew up with them and have been using them for my whole, even when I didn't lift when I was a little kid, like playing around with my dad's weights and putting them on. Um, so that's one of the reasons. Oh, another cool thing about these is you can really micro adjust these. Like I can put like one pound on this bar. Like if it's five pounds and I want six on, I can put six pounds, you know, like things like that. You can't do that with power blocks. You're always limited by like two and a half. Same thing with the, the fixed as well. There are some like micro options for all of them. So I guess, you know, like magnets and stuff like that that go on them. <clears throat> but Maybe it's my bias that I just grew up with and I'm used to it. Maybe if I was brand new to lifting and never did this, I'd find it a huge pain in the butt. I don't know. It's no different than loading a barbell. Like, we don't complain about loading a barbell. We're not, like, all trying to get adjustable barbells, are we? Like, we want, like, to put, load the weight on. So, like, why we don't like to load it on the dumbbell, I don't know. But I personally think they're fine and good and I find more uses for them than I would like the power block. And I think that the space savings is actually greater with these. So those are my thoughts. And that's what I kind of think. If you're on the fence, you know, ask around, do searches. A lot of people recommend home gym owners get the power block. I personally like these better. That's it. That's my, that's my thoughts. That's my opinion. My opinion can't be wrong. Um, but I'd love to hear what you have to think. So let me know later, everybody.